One out of every four people tested for COVID-19 in Arizona are, is coming up positive. The highest rate in the country. 90% of that state's ICU beds are full and the governor is moving to increase testing. Mola Lenghi is at a testing facility in Mesa, Arizona, just outside Phoenix. Mola, there don't seem to be enough tests for everyone. Oh, that's right, uh, Anthony, that is the problem right now. Look, while testing has improved by most standards uh, throughout the state in recent days, Quest Diagnostic, the nation's largest testing network, has said on Monday that it could take up to seven days for non-priority patients to get their results, up to a week-long wait. But now, here at Arizona State University, there might be a remedy to that problem. Testing centers like this one we saw in Mesa, Arizona, had people waiting weeks to get an appointment, hours to get a test, and almost another week to get results. It just seems like it's a really long wait, and that's why I almost didn't come today. And that's part of the problem. According to the Harvard Global Health Institute, on average, Arizona is testing 209 people per 100,000 a day. But more than 1,000 need to be tested a day to flatten the state's curve, and nearly 4,000 a day to fully suppress new cases. It's a problem Joshua LeBaire hopes to solve. We got uh, around 700 samples collected in only a few hours, and all those results have already been delivered. LeBaire is the executive director of the Biodesign Institute, which held the first public COVID test last Saturday that used a saliva collection method designed by his team at Arizona State University. The goal, quick collection and quick results. So just a matter of days. It's about a day, a little bit more than a day. They're currently able to process up to 4,000 tests a day and hope to scale up further. In Goodyear, Arizona, Estrella Contrera and Moises Ramirez's parents both caught COVID-19 in late June. Their father is now on a ventilator. His hospital room just happens to be on a first floor with a window. So his family set up camp and they've been here every single day. We literally just speak through the window as loud as we can. Sometimes you can see tears falling down. Every single evening, they speak to him from outside the window, sometimes pray the rosary and let him know they're still there. Do you think maybe in some small way that he knows you're out here that that's helping? I believe so. He'll yell at us, but he knows that we did it with heart. I'm you sure know? you'll take that yelling and be okay. <laughs> with it, right? You'd accept that one. I'll take it any day. Well, the family camps outside their father's window every day. They're out there in shifts all day, all night. There is a family member out there, and often there will be other families who they know or just perfect strangers who will show up, offer up some food, drinks, water prayer, anything to show their support, Gail. It makes a difference to see people care about you and support you always. Thank you.